r slash as credit nsfw what weird things happen during sex that nobody warns you about when he keeps rubbing and thinks he has the clit but it's not so you try to reposition your body differently against his hand or rub it yourself attempt to guide him there but he keeps rubbing your pubic bone raw anyway until you give up and just get on top yep i was so unfortunate to date one of these guys first time making out he's going down and starts his action in the wrong place i'm laying there thinking what is he trying to do i'm repositioning my hips he's moving with me staying in the wrong place i begin moving sideways so he'll maybe finally be able to hit the spot nothing i try to guide him with my own fingers he slaps my hand away at this point i'm like wtf dude i tell him my clit is not where he thinks it is he stops gets dressed and leaves without saying anything at all i probably wasn't the first to tell him some people don't take kindly to constructive cliticism when you spoon with a girl after sex and your dick shrinks and sticks to her back like a piece of chewed up bubble gum. I keep a spatula next to my bed for this reason. How having sex, like they do in porno movies is actually quite physically exhausting and doesn't feel very good. I think Ron Jeremy once said, if it looks bad, it feels good. If it looks good, it feels bad. All those crazy positions aren't to enhance the pleasure. They are to get better camera angles. Also, sex can last too long and those marathon sessions aren't necessarily a good thing. I've had a few sessions that lasted multiple hours and it wasn't all that much fun for either of us towards the end. She dries up. We both get tired. Etc. Etc. Finally. Cuddling can be awkward, because you'll be trying to figure out where to put that one arm without your partner cutting the circulation off. I'm a woman with long hair and poor eyesight. So I always have to plait my hair back, learned that early on. And if I want to see anything I have to have my contacts in. When people said you had to prepare for sex, this was not what I had in mind. BF and I both have miserable eyesight. I can't see more than 2 inches in front of my face without my glasses on. Same with him. Sex is 65% trying to not scratch each other's glasses trying to make out. Kissing is so much less enjoyable to me when my glasses are bumping my partners. I always take mine off. I'm an absolute sucker for girls in glasses, but they can definitely get in the way of a nice maquillage session. Your mind wanders. Like. You'll be trying to enjoy what's going on. And you'll know damn well. That you have been wanting this to happen for a while. And you'll still. Have random one off thoughts. It can take some self discipline. To stay in the moment. Especially since not everything you're doing. Is necessarily what's best for you. Reapplying lube and then doing the old rodeo cowboy hand gesture. Because you can't fucking find the towel. So you just kinda keep your hand elevated. Like you're afraid to ask me. Lang a question in 8th grade. Miss Lang. Where's the damn towel? If she gets overstimulated and either starts to cry. Faint. Or laugh uncontrollably. Personal experiences. When my girlfriend was grinding. And she came and began laughing hysterically made me feel a little bad and uncomfortable but she explained it to me unfortunately i'm a laugher please try not to take it personally we do try to contain it sometimes but it's really hard for me it's almost like has doing a fantastic job holy crap thank you laughter i mean that's adorable and don't stress about it when you are a foot taller than your s slash o and lining up is difficult just when she's getting close. My tongue cramps up. Jaw. Fingers. And the needing to breathe when she has both your nose and mouth in just the perfect spot. Other benefits of the Wim Hof method. Enlighten us. Breathing practice and holding your breath. 
Some can go several minutes without any air in the lungs. Your dick occasionally slips out. Boob farts. Show me how them tits fart. Hi I know it's been 2 years, but this message keeps me up at night what does it mean edit. Yay thanks for my first silver. Kind stranger. Sometimes. Even if a woman is really turned on. She doesn't get wet. Eater. Thank you for the gold. I recently started not getting wet, even when I'm very turned on. Thank you for sharing, so I know I'm not alone. You should mention it to your doctor. Sometimes it's a medication side effect, or it can indicate certain conditions. Sometimes you lose your spatial awareness. Partner and I were having a grand old time. I lost sense of the bed dimensions. King. We were all over the place. Then I fell off the bed, ass over elbows onto my head, and farted upon impact. I was embarrassed. He got me an ice pack for the knot on my head. We've been married 17 years now, and still laugh about it. Be safe kids. Practice safe sex. Tie your partner to the bed, so they don't fall off. You realize your cat likes to watch. This is the worst. Especially as they're not only watching but curious. You're in the heat of the moment. Feeling good. Forgetting you even have a cat. And then. You feel their little paws in places they should never be. Edit. Thanks for the silver. Forget about the paws. Our cat bites our fingers. You are lucky. Mine's paws were found a lot farther south. When you could go all night. But she thinks you're about to come. And says don't come yet but just hearing. That makes you come. The apology later is a weird part. Don't stop is another killer. When she says harder daddy. But you nutted 2 minutes ago and just been hitting it semi hard. Long sex does not necessarily mean good sex. For one. The girl can get sore. Especially if the guy is big. It can also get boring. If it goes on too long. It's all about finding the sweet spot. Timing wise. I think it's been knocked into the heads of too many guys. That the ideal is lasting for hours. For some women. I'm sure they love that. Others. Not so much. Thank you. Some people don't understand this. Especially from some girls points of views. For me 5 minutes of good passionate sex are better than hour plus sex. Everyone laughs about only lasting a few seconds. So the natural reaction of young teenagers is to think they must last as long as possible. Teenagers and beyond. The jokes about duration really mess with guys heads and set unfair expectations. The noises. And the smells. Sex has its own smell. I used to deliver Chinese food and pizza in a resort mountain town. I delivered to someone at a fancy lodge once time and a dude in a robe opened the room door the sex funk hits me square in the nose. Most potent I ever smelled. Like it was going to linger in the hallway for a while after the door closed. That's strong. He asks me if I'm having a good night as he's paying me. And I said. Not as good a one as you. And I hear a woman start cracking up in the room. Edit. My first silver. Thank you mystery benefactor. Queefs. Curious pets. Spontaneous genital malfunction. All genders. The dreaded taint smash. Muscle cramps. Falling out of rhythm. Flesh farts. When two particularly well fitting sweaty areas match up. And there's a little air in between. And it escapes. Real farts. Short and accidental MMA matches, I've taken an elbow to the eye socket. And the sentence I don't bend that way, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. Edit. Thanks for the gold and silver. Kind strangers. Some people can't do two physical things at once. So they might be able to kiss, but once having sex they're bashing teeth. Sticking tongue out too far. Rotating the head the wrong way just wrong. It's like they can't coordinate two types of bodily movement at once. This is me. I'm picturing the scene from Alien. Where the little one comes out of its mouth. 
you're not always gonna have sex with someone right out of the shower. Sometimes it's in the moment, and it doesn't always smell. Let's say, awesome. My partner won't have sex, unless has just come out of the shower within the last 2 hours. Unless has been active. Then he'll shower anyway. My favorite thing is the way he smells after the shower and now his body washes a turn on. Ha ha ha. Yes. My partner uses soap and now, when I smell soap I get a little weak in the knees. My girlfriend is from a rural area and she's not much of a jolly girl. So her body wash back quote perfume is basically just warmer brand soap. So occasionally I'll be at work and I get a whiff of something that makes me feel altingly inside. I look up and it's a 50 year old obese woman or a teenage boy. Sometimes, hypothetically, the girl could be on top riding and you could wind up for a playful slap on the ass and accidentally slap yourself directly in the balls causing great pain for one party and uproarious laughter for the other pretty much derailing the whole thing. I wouldn't know anything about this, but it uh, happened to a friend of mine. I'm waking up to ash and dust I miss her ass, and I slap my nuts. The falling asleep afterwards thing. But there's clean up and peeing to do, idk how people just roll over and sleep in their own slime while your pee hole cements itself shut. But there's clean up and peeing to do, if I lie there for a couple of seconds then I feel a wave of tiredness washing over me, but I can't give in to it. There's just no way I could let myself sleep without going to the toilet first. Hip cramps. Basically when your legs are spread too wide for too long and your hip flexor becomes a traitor requiring your leg to be straight, or you'll be in too much pain for enjoyment. Even worse when it's both of your hip flexors cramping at the same time. Edit, spelling edit too, never thought me admitting to getting hip cramps during sex would result in gold twice in addition to being my most liked comment. Thanks reddit. Yes I'm not the only one hooray, and now I know that I can go fix it. Thank you. Just keep in mind that there is number 100% fix. Stretching can definitely help if you have tight hip flexors, but it won't prevent them from cramping entirely. Especially if you're going at it for a while. So that's what that exercise machine is for. My mouth dries up to the point when I swallow it sticks and I choke and have to stop and get a drink. I guess from heavy breathing moaning and panting, or getting so wound up from him, I almost pass out. Blurry vision afterwards. All those vaginal juices have to come from somewhere. Usually the vagina. That's a possibility. Dripping and leaking afterwards, for her. You've reached the end, you're a star. Destroy the subscribe button for more like that.